CBS 4 learns new details following the arrest of an accused killer. As we first reported yesterday, Gabriel Arnold has been charged with murder for the shooting death of Kimberly Segovia at the Trace Palmas Apartments in Far East El Paso on March 27th. Court documents show Arnold told police he and Segovia were in a relationship and he had recently returned to El Paso from Albuquerque after their breakup. Investigators say surveillance footage from a gas station and a bar showed the couple together on the night of the killing and witnesses told police the two were fighting. Another witness told them Arnold showed up at their home and confessed to shooting Segovia 16 times. Police also say they found Arnold with some of her belongings. CBS 4 at 5.30, Jacqueline Quinones is in Far East El Paso near the apartment complex where police found Segovia's body. She spoke to family and friends about how they're remembering the young woman. I'm near the area of Richbeam Drive in Montana where Kimberly Segovia was shot and killed in the early hours of March 27th. Now family and friends are gathering to remember her at a location where she was brutally taken and plan to seek justice after the suspect was caught and arrested on Monday. You know, we're kind of relieved now, but, it, you know, it's not going to feel the same. Esteban Segovia is the cousin of the victim who was killed at the Tres Palmas apartments last month on March 27th. According to Segovia, they believe this was a result of a domestic violence dispute. The victim, 26-year-old Kimberly Segovia, suffered from several gunshot wounds and later died in the hospital. The suspect, 24-year-old Gabriel Arnold, was arrested at the 8500 block of Edgar Park in Northeast El Paso on Monday. Friends want Kimberly to be remembered as the vibrant and sweet soul that she was. Since she was telling me how she was ready to make so many good changes in her life, like she was really trying to get her daughters back in her and like with her over there to Albuquerque and just doing everything that she could. She was like really like the light to everybody's life. Like when she left, to be honest, it felt like everything just got dark. Arnold is being held under a $1 million bond. Coming up later tonight, we hear more in details to the days leading up to her death. Reporting in Far East El Paso, Jacqueline Quinones, CBS 4 at 530.